Hello, this is my discipleship project. This is my discipleship project for organizational leadership, fall 2023. <clears throat> At first, I wasn't so sure about what my project was gonna be. And then I realized that I wanna be better with my church callings. So I decided to work um, in one of my callings that's uh, it's, it's the branch family history consultant for my branch. And um, I talked to the elders quorum and I asked for their help. And we came with a, we came with a plan and uh, they helped me to organize all of our branch members as for, in four groups. Each group was divided by um, their different needs. And uh, we created four groups and we met in different Sundays. The first group um, was really tough because it was the first time that I met with them. And uh, it was a special class that I taught him what genealogy was, the purpose for it, and why it's good for us to do it. Um, each Sunday we met together. The first Sunday we met, it was group one. We met on uh, September 24th, second group, October 8th, and so on. Like we, I see, we do see here. Um, the second part of the project right here, we actually met in the family history room and I show them how to create their tree. Some members already had a tree, but they didn't know how to research the records. So I show them how to research the records and um, how to print the ordinances that their family needed. And I met with each group just like that, November 5th, the 12th, the 19th and the 26th. These are the temple trips that we plan and we still have one more to go. At the end, we uh, created 25 new trees, realized or made 185 baptisms for ceilings. And the purpose of these is to have an eternal family. I was really pleased with with how everything worked out. Um, now I'm gonna show you my, my sheet, my spreadsheet, where I was tracking everything. I actually put an, as a goal of meeting with every group the Sunday that I met with them and what was I gonna talk about and what were we gonna work on. And uh, I also put the names of the members that I helped. Uh, you can see group one, group two, group three, and group four. This sheet was pretty helpful because it actually helped me to keep track of everything. And uh, some members took pictures and I should have, asked for them, but I was just to focus on helping them. It was actually very fulfilling to me to see that a lot of members actually came in and, and they actually enjoyed working on that. They got, some of them got to fall in love with genealogy just as much as I have. I think the tracking was pretty successful with the Excel sheet that we got. I feel like I did accomplish my goal of helping them. And um, I feel like even if we would have just baptized five people, it would have been good enough. Uh, for the future, I wanna uh, keep on working on this project. I have a meeting with uh, President Branch because I wanna ask for permission to keep on meeting with people at least once a month 
uh, keep rotating the people and see what advances they had made or if they stuck and they need more help or whatever they need from me. Um, in the future, the, well, that's what I want to do in the future. Um, some of the accountability that I have for the project was to make sure that every Saturday before church, I called the people that were supposed to meet me uh, to make sure they knew about it and they could prepare themselves a little bit and don't forget that they were supposed to meet with me. And I think this is what made this um, meeting su successful. More than anything, I think it's meeting at the second hour at church instead of doing it after or before, because a lot of people don't want to spend time or more time than they have to at church. I mean, I will gladly stay or come to church earlier if they wanted to to meet with me, but a lot of people don't want to do that. I consider this to be a very successful project and I would love to keep doing it. And I'm grateful and thankful that I was put in this class to learn and to do what I really want to do. I really want to help people with genealogy. I feel like that's my calling and um, I will keep on doing it.